Hello and welcome to the Fishing Guide Podcast. I'm your host, Brad Weekman. Uh, and this this week we have something that's really special because we're down here in Shreveport, uh, Louisiana, and actually at the Sportsman's Paradise. If anyone says it's not, they are liars. Absolutely. Exactly. And I got two guys that are going to tell you the reason why, because there's so much to do and there's there's so much. It's just amazing. And of course, we, we're going to talk fishing, but you guys are going to talk about a lot of the other stuff that you can do down here, and that's what it's all about. So uh, we have Eric and Kelly here, and so they're going to help us. Kelly, you're first. Shoot it off and uh, let us know what's happening down here. Well, first of all, we're so glad that y'all are here, and I think there's over 120 vendors here at the Crappie Expo today, and everybody started arriving earlier in the week, and of course, they're kicking off their third day of fishing on the Red River, and I think it's down to 25 now, so I yep. think we started just over 100 teams, and so... Yeah, it's been a, you know, when you're doing a, a world-class fishing tournament like this, you know, you don't want to make it too easy. And so uh, they've been catching a lot of uh, crappie, but um, they've been having to work at it, and but they're still having a good time. And those that are still in the 25 are loving the Red River and what it's producing and keeping them in for the fight today to get $100,000. And uh, yeah. then the, I guess the other 24 teams will split the other 150000 So it's just it's so. Big payout. Big payout. Big payout. Uh, the largest fact, payout in, in uh, crappie tournaments. So. Well, even when, when you compare it with FLW or Bass or Major League Fishing, it's right up there. And right. so it's amazing yeah. Wally Marshall's really vision and investment to do what he's done like this in three years. It's amazing. Yeah, it is. It's grown. So we, that takes us to the end over here. We don't want to leave you out. No because uh, I'm Eric. I'm the marketing director with the Red River Waterway Commission. So we right. are a political subdivision of the state that works on navigation and recreation. So we have 20 recreation areas up and down the Red River. We work on keeping the oxbows open for dredging so fishermen right. can get out there. Yeah. Um, 20 you know, multi-million dollar boat launches, great access to the Red wow. River, all the way from the Arkansas border to where it meets up to the Atchafalaya, Mississippi. So wow. seven parishes, and uh, we love to partner with the Sports Commission, all our CVBs up and down the state to bring, bring great events like this. This is something that, you know, Wally, had talked at the opening uh, kickoff. Wally and I met back in Houston at right. the Bassmaster Classic so many years ago. With the, this was an idea, and we've met up in Hot Springs at FLW, and then for the Copy Expo. And I said, "This is something we need to." You know, yep. I talk to people around here that who doesn't like to eat crappie. So right. we've hosted world class events. You know, that we've hosted the Bassmaster Classic, we've hosted the Forestwood Cup, we've had. Na- we typically have three, four national championships a year on the Red River. So everyone right. knows the Red River. It's a destination that every fisherman knows if they're going to be fishing for a big tournament, they're going to come here at some point in their career. So we're excited to have the crappie guys here. Hope to get them back. Wally's put something on great. And we're ex- you know, our commission is just thrilled to have everyone here and benefit in Shreveport and come into our town spending their money. Isn't that exciting? We're going to come back to you in a second. I got a question for you, but so uh, you're bringing the people in, and there's there's so much to do. Uh, when it comes to fishing, uh, you have more than just crappie fishing, but you also have kayak fishing in this area is popular too, right? Yeah, the KBF and Chad and Christy Hoover have really uh, found a niche with crappie fish or with uh, kayak bass fishing. Uh-huh. And so in a couple of weeks, we'll be hosting the KBF. And we hosted back that back in 2019. I think they had around 380 boats. Wow. Uh, this In two weeks, they'll have over 700 kayaks from all over the country coming in. There will be wow. a kayak expo. And so it's, you know, really amazing how uh, everybody's capitalizing on the great uh, fishing industry. I know Eric will be having the uh, Catfish uh, National oh, really? Championships in a couple, in November. November. So, again, the Red River is a phenomenal fishery for uh, not only bass, but crappie, right. catfish. And events like this really provide the opportunity to, to really get national promotion out there about just what they have. Last year we hosted the Bow Fishing Nationals, so we had a lot of right. airboats on the river uh, having fun with some of our uh, our, our uh trash fish and drum and carp and so you know working with this guy right here allows us to go after world-class fishing events that provide the exposure that really the red river and the shreveport bozier and the northwest louisiana region deserve in the sportsman's paradise so uh you had talked about launch ramps and so the launch ramp they're going out of the red river uh area that that is one how many more would you say are on the waterway as you go down, do you know how many? Well, Red River South is actually a private marina. Uh-huh. Um, that was built with a design, though, for 
that was built specifically for the Bass Master Classic. It was I see. That type of facility to right. have to be able to handle that. So, you know, when we go out and we talk to these organizations, Kelly and I, whether it's right. TBF, whether it's FLW, they know we can handle as many boats as they bring. So we've got, gotcha. we have two others um, right here in Shreveport, Bossier City on either okay. side of the river. What's the name um, of them? That is the Stoner Boat Launch and then okay. the Teague Parkway. So we have these 19 multi-million dollar boat launches up and wow. down the river in each pool. So we've got five five lock and dams, okay. um, which you go in, you know, full recreational access to go in there, pull the cord, the lock masters will get you through. So, you know, depending on the pool, you have a different type of fish. You know, the southern pools, you still have all the bass and all that, but you got some huge catfish down there as you get to the deeper lakes and Uh the the deeper pools. So, you know, we've, there's not something that you have to go more than 30 minutes to pretty much find a launch on the Red River. I got you. And uh, a cost associated. So if you go there to put in, uh, is there a launch fee there or what? Just the what gas can they to get you there. All oh, really? Of our launches are free. Actually, all really? Public, all public boat launches um, are absolutely free up and down the Red River that we wow that we've created. Um, so those are, and you can find all of these. We have a mobile app now, the Red uh-huh. River Waterway. Right. You Google, go to the Apple Store or the Google Store. You'll find the Red River Waterway app, and it's got. Uh, pin drops on all our recreation areas that you can get nice. turn by turn directions because you know fishermen know that most of these boat launches aren't mailboxes or you know, it's hard to find you, you right. know where they're at but so i spent a lot of time working with google and everybody else trying to get the right the addresses right so we can uh-huh. get that turn by turn direction because you know they're most of the time they're not in a neighborhood to find the find them there but uh so we're excited about that app and it has all our river charts yeah, it's so, just going to open. You open that can yep. of worm on app. So now I was going to ask you, what else is that app? So on that app, it has all our river levels. It has if the rec areas are open. So you uh-huh. can go there, see what the river level's at. Okay. Um, it has all the phone numbers to the lock and dams, the sheriff's departments, if you have any issues. But okay. um, what else was it going to say? Oh, it has the uh, navigation chart for the whole river. Oh, really? PDF file on there with photo and PDF. So you can go, wow. if you want to go look through the nav chart, and you can say, yeah, I'm at mile mark 223. Let me go see what's around here and right. go see what that what that was originally, and then check your Navionics or whatever program you're using. And uh, it's a river, though. It's not. It changes. Yeah. You know, yeah. we've had uh, since I've been with the commission, we've had a couple of historic floods, and right. uh, that's what's kind of. I look at it from a competitive. I was a, you know, baseball player, but right. from the competitive standpoint, you look at these things, these tournaments of you know, how fair, how equal it is, even with people that have lived in this area, the river's changed. So after right. a big flood event, areas that were 12 foot deep may only be three foot deep in some of those backwaters. So you lose a lot of that local knowledge, but it's great for a tournament environment. We had uh, the Bass Federation National Championship. Right. Guy from New York, you know, people talk about, you know, you come to Louisiana, you have Home stumps, you have stumps, yeah. you have all these things that they may not have at some of their lakes up there. And he's like, uh, the guy who won, he was going, I was really nervous about coming to the Red River because I've heard about all these stumps. He goes, this is one of the best places I've ever fished. Now, he won a lot of money, so it makes right. it a lot better. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, lot. You know, Lots better. It, it's just, it's a great thing. You know, we've got so many great fishing opportunities in northwest Louisiana. Um, and they all fish a little different. You've got some of the bayous and some right. of the Toledo Bend. And, you know, the river, you, you're probably not going to go catch you a a 15 pound bass that you might get at Toledo Bend, but you could sit out there and catch you a whole bucket full of fish to go home and eat. Right. Um, and so, you know, I like to, I like to catch. I'm not a big fisherman. I like to catch. Right. (laughs) I got you. I don't like fishing. I like catching. So bringing them in the boat is what's fun. And I think that's, what's great about the red is you can go find a place that you're by yourself. Right. And enjoying the peace and tranquility of being on the river. There you go. So opportunities, uh, as you go, they have opportunities. If they wanted to come and look on the uh, Internet, would they find some stuff that you have that they'd yeah, be able to use? Yeah, Eric's got some great resources specifically on the Red River. And uh-huh. then the uh, Tourist Bureau and Sports Commission uh, has a website, uh, streetportbosier.org. Okay. And uh, it's a great website. So, you know, how to get here. Of course, right. we're one of our, our biggest asset besides having the Red River run through the Streetport Bosier cities. Okay. And then really uh, fish is great all the way down the Mississippi River, which I guess the Red River empties into just south of Alexandria, about 
two and a half hours south. Down at Red River right. Landing, yeah. But again, there's a lot of launch points from that end. And uh-huh. like Eric said, we have a diversity of other bodies of water. Like right. the KBF tournament coming in, they'll be utilizing not only the Red River, but Caddo and Bistano. And oh, really? So again, it's just great fisheries. And what a lot of folks like to do is start right. out on the Red River. Right. But again, you can fish several different styles of fishing within 45 minutes of each other and and Caddo Caddo is a great a great place to fish I'd expect that maybe that kayak tournament would be one off that back yeah, in there that's that's a good area to fish yeah, and you never so. know you know fishing on the river from the spring to the fall right uh, you know a lot of times in the fall you know the, the deeper water uh, helps out and again like Eric said you get a lot of volume of uh, fish on the Red River right and uh, but yeah Caddo and some of the other lakes uh have heavier fish a lot of times but the red river hasn't got as much pressure as in the past and i like to go out and fish on a body of water that doesn't get the pressure right that others get they haven't seen that lure in front of them so many times but i think the the neat thing about our area is a lot of the great fisheries there's nothing else to do around there and right. so the neat thing with shreveport Bossier is we've got uh we're a top uh tours destination as well right and so You've got casinos. In fact, we were talking about sports betting earlier. I think right. it's going to open up uh, physically inside the uh, Horseshoe Casino, I think, on Oct- around October the 15th. Uh-huh. Again, I'm not a big sports better, but, you know, right. we try to provide something for everybody's interest. You've got your Louisiana, so you've got great nightlife. Uh-huh. you got great uh, music. you got incredible food. You know, I'm right. from Texas greatest, originally. No, they got the greatest food. <laughs> let's the greatest let's food. interrupt this. Yeah, see, you since, all, I, since I saw you on Monday, you, Brad, you... Uh, yeah, I gained a couple of pounds. <laughs> they actually have the best food ever. I once went on a fam trip, and, and we went across the state, and, and from one section to the other section, is like a pound every so many miles yep. is, is when you went. But fantastic, fresh. When I, I came mean, to Louisiana, I was 140 pounds. <laughs> they may not see me on the podcast, but I'm a tad. What's, what's, my BMI is a tad high, according to the AMA. The, if if uh, an angler comes down, guy comes down, and his family, what's what's your favorite place to eat? What's your favorite place to eat? We'll let you go first. Yeah, you know, there's over 300 restaurants just in this area, and Eric's right. in a little a smaller community. I say little, it's growing, but Natchitoches, right. Louisiana. Don't ask me how yep. to spell it. But um, there's great food. You know, if you're look, a lot of times folks are coming to Louisiana, so they're looking for Cajun food. Okay. So Natchitoches is known for the meat pie. Yep. Meat uh, pie. Around here, we've got restaurants like Bojack's. Depending on the time of the year, if you're coming oh, to fish you. the spring spawn, you're right in the middle of the crawfish season. Oh. So really, November through about May, of course, the crawfish start eating their their uh, weight, and so you know, my favorite time to get crawfish is around April. So I gotcha. normally you can come in April. Fish, you know, maybe late spawn depending on the weather, but then you can go get you 10 pounds of crawfish, a lot of this, couple cold ones. and Yeah, a lot of the uh, restaurants have it, like what you're saying oh, yeah. is there's fresh, like there's fresh, they're going to have like a special or something like that. So people coming in will know that that's what's happening. You know, starting with Lent to basically to Memorial Day, if you yeah. want to eat crawfish every day, you can. Yeah. And you can every eat all day. you want. <laughs> All you can all you, handle. All you can handle. Yeah, in fact, um, a former lieutenant governor used to say, you know, in Louisiana, uh, anything that crawls, slithers, or flies, we put it in a big gumbo pot, right? and then we name a festival after it. So we've got all kinds of fun festivals around the area from uh, Mudbug Madness, which is Memorial Weekend, to we've got a big, uh, couple big festivals going on this weekend, the Red River Revel, uh-huh. which, again, depending on the time of the year, you can normally between somewhere in northwest Louisiana – find some kind of festival. And what I love about the festivals is it really allows visitors to really uh, catch a different part of our culture or a different part of our food right. or music. And so when I moved to Louisiana 20 years ago, I just absolutely fell in love with it. Wouldn't right. uh, change where I live for anywhere in the world. So uh, let's talk a little bit about lodging because the guys that are coming down and they're watching this or listening to it, they want to know uh, about lodging. Is it angler friendly? You know, what can they kind of expect from, you know, like one section going down, it, how, how is that working? Is it, Do they have a lot of parking that's perfect and things like that? Do you want to talk about uh, – I'll let you do Shreveport, Bossier. And yeah, so uh, Red River South Marina, where they're launching this week, uh-huh. has 33 cabins and then oh. a few mobile homes. They've also right. got some RV sites. Okay. So, again, you can launch and stay. It's about 15 minutes south of uh, the downtown Shreveport, Bossier area. Okay. Again, if you're bringing your, your wife or your girlfriend or your family and – 
you're wanting to hit the water all day long, but you're wanting to pre- if if the family's not wanting to be on the water all day long, right. they can take the truck keys and uh, head to town. And there's a lot of family okay. the Streetport Aquarium, and you got Sideport, you got tons of shopping. So we always say, right. you know, make sure you don't have a big limit on your credit card before you get here, because. Right. So again, we feel like it's just something that you can uh, really enjoy. The whole family can enjoy. Right. Well, and our office is based in Natchitoches, and that's where I live, which is an hour right. south. So, you know, for those listening out there, it's a great place for fishermen. If their wife comes along and doesn't want to get in the boat with her, it's the home of Steel Magnolias. It's right. where they film the movie. It's the oldest permanent settlement in the Louisiana Purchase. So, down there, we've got a huge tourism economy, lots of hotels. The Waterway Commission actually has a 59-spot RV park in Natchitoches right on wow. one of our boat launches. So it's in a pecan orchard spread out spot. So I would say anybody go to the website, com. You can see the sites. You can see the reviews. You know, this day and age, people complain about their mama's cooking on the Internet. Right. In four years, we, there's not a negative review of this park. People rave about the park of how spread out it is, how well designed, full hookups, concrete pads, fiber optic Wi-Fi throughout the park. Wow. Everything you'd want there, and you have full access. Our our boat launches, the Red River Waterway boat launches up and down the river. Most okay. of them, we can handle 80 to 100 boats and trailer parking. Wow. We've got, they're all built basically for tournament-type fishing. So they're multiple, gotcha. multiple lane boat launches. Wow. Um, all that. So then you can go from Natchitoches down to Alexandria. Um, you've got a lot, you know, Great downtown Alexandria, hotels down there, restaurants, and as you go down to Marksville and Avoyles Parish, you've got more. Uh, you've got some Indian casinos down there, big places, golf courses, um, full activity range. But the you know Natchitoches, every Southern woman and most women in the country want to go see where Steel Magnolias. I right. mean, it, that movie was like thirty some years ago, and it's still right. Hardcore in Natchitoches, and you were asking about food down there. I mean, we've got some of the best. The home of the Louisiana Meat Pie, Lazion's Meat Pie Kitchen in Natchitoches, right okay. downtown. Unbelievable. Mayu Steakhouse, um, Mamas and Papas, Ma, uh, Maglio's Restaurants. These guys are all on the old historic riverfront, right? and it's all locally owned stuff, so you know you're getting good food. Good Mariners on the lake. I mean, you, you don't come to Natchitoches and leave hungry or unsatisfied, right. so... You know, if and if a lot of folks, you know, they all also have all these young kids playing sports, playing baseball, softball, right. or whatever. Natchitoches just built a fifteen million dollar youth sports complex. Wow! So we're getting all these tournaments. So you know, if your kids playing baseball, you come down here, Don't you can stay at the RV park. They play their two games. You can go hit the hit right. the river in the afternoon and go catch you a sack full of crappie, bass, catfish, whatever you want. Right. So, it's, um, it's, uh We've been to Natchitoches, me and my family have been there. That's where the Hall of, Hall of Fame is, right? The Louisiana Sports so, Hall of Fame. So y- you do have to stop by there, and you have to check that out because it has some very large shoes. And, <laughs> and there's a, a it was very, rena- I will say it was renamed Shackatish for a weekend when a certain <laughs> – was? That's awesome. Sha- Shaquille O'Neal renamed the city Shackatish when he was getting inducted to the Hall of Fame. But you know, And if you like Terry Bradshaw, Terry Bradshaw, you got to come check – I mean, there was – and I Pied thought there blue, was a car there. Bo Dowden was just yeah. voted, uh, inducted this year who wow. you know, won the Classic. Yeah. He's a Natchitoches native. Um, yeah, Louisiana's – you know, just look at LSU. and I'm not an LSU yeah. guy, but LSU, football, I mean, basketball, all the sports right. – that, that's the, the a, sporting you, activity down here is unbelievable. Athletes in every professional sports league, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, soccer, fishing, sports, can, you know, uh, Grits Gresham, you know, all right. this stuff down there. So that museum is actually it's the Northwest Louisiana History Museum and the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. But it's okay. state of the art, full uh, electronic buy. You go click yep. on the person's name and you get the videos and you get to see everything. So it's an immersive experience. So it's a great site. Such a great site. I still remember, and it's probably been four or five years since <laughs> yeah. I've been there. And it's like, I was like, well, this is like, can we spend all day here? Yes, we can, but we might have to go eat. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll let you come yeah. back. Yeah, that's right. So uh, that takes us up to uh, Tackle Time. Tackle Time is sponsored by Pico Lures. Pico Lures, they have everything for crappie. You can come down here in Louisiana and catch all. All the game fish they have down here with Pico Lures, soft, they got soft baits, they got hard baits, and all those you can catch, definitely catch fish down here. 
uh, crappie bass, you name it. And I think so, I saw a few of the anglers uh, with the pico lures. Yeah, there's uh, a there's at least one guy walking around the thing. I was like, I took my camera. I was like, <laughs> hey, we gotta have a selfie on this. But uh, I know do they want, don't like bragging about what lures are fishing during the tournament. But no, they don't like talking about that. <laughs> but uh, they always tell the truth is what I've learned in doing all these fish. Yeah, just fishing like tournaments. They just tell like a lot uh, of truth. just like gamblers. Yeah. that you know, yeah, I won tonight, honey. <laughs> well, you won what you lost, but, I would but say that's they, you they, won. They build those big hotels on uh, people that win, walk away with more money than they brought, right? <laughs> that's right. So <laughs> you can check out Pico Lures at PicoLures.com. That also takes us to our other sponsor, which is uh, Smith Consumer Products. And I brought this in. This is a real cool little, uh, it's a Regal River. It's like a multi-tool, and it has everything. So a hook sharpener, scissors, uh, you name it, knife sharpener, everything a Louisiana guy would want. And he can just put in his pocket. There he goes, and he I, can do everything. With I don't it. know if you're a man in Louisiana that you don't have a knife in your mm -hmm. or a tool in your pocket. That's right. Or if you're from <laughs> if you're from Arkansas, you might have a Smith's uh, knife too in your pocket too. Oh, wow, but we talked about this the other day on the show, but these are really cool, super light. But anyway, Smith has a, a whole line of products for anglers and everything. Just you have to go there. They got so much. You can check them out at Smith products.com and we're going to let you guys tell them uh, if they want to find out more about down here in louisiana sportsman's paradise if they're looking where would they go uh the www.shreveportbosier.org okay uh, shreveport bossier or bossier b-o-s-s-i-e-r okay uh, dot org so uh that's where you can go to find out okay. uh, more leisure information on where to come okay. in and stay and we just want to welcome you to come to our area uh, we've got a couple of big events coming up. Uh, we mentioned the KBF yep. Bass Fishing Nationals with Chad and Christy Hoover in a couple weekends. We also have the Super Retriever Series Crown Championship. So if you're okay. a hunter, uh, October the 15th through the 24th, we'll be having the top 150 uh, retriever wow. dogs here for about nine days. So that's all that's free, cool. open to the public, and uh, it'll be over at the Louisiana Boardwalk and one of our local our firesome plantations. At the same time, we'll also be having the UKC United Kennel Club Total Dog Invitational, October the 21st through the 23rd. So, again, wow. whether it's fishing or hunting or the outdoors, uh, that's what I love about go. our region is we are sportsman's paradise for yeah. the country. There we go. All right. The Red River Waterway, you can go to our website, www.redriverwaterway.com. That has uh, all our commissioners, all our work. So part of my you – know, the other part of my job is working with all our ports. So okay. I work with bringing economic development to our ports and navigation. So uh -huh. luckily, you know, this waterway with the advent of the lock of dams, that's what created a lot of this great backwater fishing. So right. we're excited. You were talking about uh, KBF and right. Caddo Lake or whatever. Well, you know, the great thing about kayaks is they get in parts of the river that these boats can't even think about. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's where they're catching, you know, those, yeah. everybody in a boat looks in there going, gosh, how do I get in there? These kayak Thanks. guys, they just float their way right in, and they're hitting water that's never been touched. So, um, We've got the mobile app, the Red River Waterway, okay. on either the Apple or uh, Google Store. Facebook, you go to Facebook, we're posting constant updates. Uh, this morning, the day of the Crappie Expo, we have 125 high school, North uh, Louisiana Bass Fishing High School, going out of Grand Decor Launch this wow. morning. So 120 high school teams. You've never seen, I've never seen anything like the growth in high school and college yep. bass fishing in the last couple Definitely. of years. So we love those people because I always say, you know, we're here to bring money to our local economies. Right. And high school bass fishing, I say, is like a high school playing a team with a good marching band. It doesn't matter how good the football team is. Even a bad football team brings all the parents in the marching band. So they, a bad That's football right. team, no one, the, some parents don't even go watch their kids blues every game, but uh, Mom and dad and grandma and grandpa yeah. all come to watch the marching band. That's what happens with uh, these high school teams. So we're really excited. Uh, the one thing, we're having the King Cat Cabela's uh, King Cat National Ch Catfish Championships right. November uh, 5th and 6th in Natchitoches. So that's going to be a okay. huge event down there. So, you know, multi-species. I think we're having three species national championships on the river this year so it's pretty exciting times yeah we're, we're working with some folks on a uh, national championship turtle fishing <laughs> turtle competition fishing. so uh, yeah. we'll get with you on you, that more brad you'll have to let us know there's someone out there that's the that sports commission that's doing that we, we have nothing to do with turtle fishing <laughs> look at, look at that. <laughs> nothing to do with turtle and with on that note <laughs> 
sorry. We're, we're going to have to cut them off. But it is the sportsman's paradise. You definitely have to come down here. And it, as you can tell, these guys, you know, everyone, the community and, and, and all the businesses, you know, they want you to come down. And they, they basically, southern hospitality, that's what you can get down here. And that's, that's what we love to see. And as anglers, that's what we love to come in. And we, we do like spending our money with people that appreciate us coming in the area and having the facilities you guys have the facilities so that's a that's a great and i'll add one thing i know we're running out but yeah i've been the classic now for five or six years Bassmaster classic right and it doesn't matter where it's at whether it's south carolina knoxville houston i think one out of every three people comes up to me and it's they're from this region they're right. from that arkansas texas louisiana mississippi it's like this is the heart of it and they're going doesn't matter if you're going halfway across the country. They're going to show up, ask for our yeah. bottle of hot sauce, right. and uh, take one with them from every show. There you go. That's what you have. And like I always end the show with, I always tell people to keep their hooks sharp and their lures in the water. Thank you, man. No problem.